Hey everyone, in this video we will learn how to set the transparency for a scatter plot. So let's start. I've got this Jupyter notebook open here with me and the reason you need scatter plots is to define a relationship or to view a relationship between two variables. And that's when you need a scatter plot, but it's sometimes you can have a scatter plot with a lot of data and it gets very difficult and tricky to call things out or where there is maximum density or where there is a maximum data points. So uh, if you change the transparency, you can probably find that. In any case, let's start. So I've got this, uh, I'm, I'm importing pandas and I'm importing matplotlib and I'm reading from a file which is test.csv. I'll leave a link to this file in the video notes. I'll also upload this file to um, GitHub and I'll leave a link in the video notes so you can download the file and do the tutorial along with me. So let's just hit shift enter. So all it's doing is it's importing pandas, it's importing matplotlib and it's reading the file and putting the output, the contents of the file into the data frame. So the next statement is df.head where it's just that I'm seeing what my data looks like. So just print the first five rows and it's showing me the various uh, columns. And let's say I want to find the relationship between age and fair. One would think that as somebody ages, uh, they have more money in the bank and uh, they've saved more. So they might just be paying more fair. So there might be some correlation. So let's do a quick scatter plot on that. And when we do the scatter plot, you see there's no correlation at all. I can't see anything here. But there are just too many data points and it's very hard to call out um, you know, where there is, which which is the place where there is the maximum data points. Even though there is no correlation, I would like to find out where most of my data is sitting. So I could change the transparency level. So all you need to do is you run the same statement, df.plot.scatter. You just add one more setting, which is alpha, alpha is equal to 0 0.03. So that's all I've added and that using alpha, you can change the transparency one stands for like opaque completely opaque so it look like what is what image we've already got so i'll just hit shift enter now and you can see it's showing me now now that there is a lot of concentration on on the bottom end where the age is between 20 to 40 and the fare is probably somewhere like 10 dollars or something but it's, it's there's no correlation at all but i still know to some extent where my data is sitting so i could change this and I could move this to point one and let me just execute this again. And you can see it's it's the same. It's just showing me where, where the maximum uh, density of the data sits. In any case, we will just put it to point two and still play around. So in this video, we learned how to uh, change the transparency of the bubbles in a scatter plot and how that could be useful. I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Uh, please do subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you enjoy what I'm doing. Cheers. Bye.